Hey guys, it's Adam, and you're watching Iowa Butterfly Garden, and we're just going to go out here real quick, because I'm going to show you that even if you live somewhere where you can't have a garden, uh, like you don't have a bed, you can still grow a butterfly garden and a butterfly habitat in containers. So I'm going to show you some stuff. You're going to need for your habitat uh, both host plants and nectar plants. Host plants are what the caterpillars eat, and nectar plants are what the adult butterflies drink out of. Um, I'll have a, I'll have a, a, a website called Gardens with Wings where you can type in your zip code and get a shopping list of different host plants and nectar plants for butterflies that are common in your area. That way you know what to get. So far in my habitat, which I just started here on the second story uh, balcony in my dad's condo, Bronze fennel, which is a host plant for the black swallowtail butterfly, which I raised last year. This is a prairie willow. And this is a dwarf blue arctic willow. And both of those are host plants to many, many, many species of uh, butterflies, including the tiger swallowtail and morning cloak and green comma. This right here, these two right here, this is a green wood cutting and a soft wood cutting. Actually, you know what? We could call that semi-hardwood cutting of a uh, prairie willow. We also have some nectar plants in here. We have a butterfly bush, Budlia davidii, and the red admiral. Love it. We've had the same red admiral come three days in a row. Uh, lantana. Pelargoniums, which people usually call geraniums or seed geraniums. And those are great for attracting butterflies in the sun. There's also some nice plants for the shade. Uh, Coleus gets purple flowers in the fall, which if you don't pinch them off, are butterfly magnets, and the monarchs love them. Uh, begonias are another one that works well in the shade, and butterflies love them. These zinnias right here, uh, butterflies go nuts for them, and they're a sun plant. Same with these salvias and this vinca here. The dusty miller in the middle makes a nice touch just to be aesthetically pleasing. Um, and this lily, of course, is great for butterflies. Then we have some stuff. This right here is an artificial puddle that I made. And the male butterflies drink salts from sand and mud. And then, also to attract butterflies, I have some fermenting fruit. These are grapes that the butterflies go nuts for. So as you can see here, we've got a wonderful start to my butterfly habitat. Uh, on the second story, we've already had some butterflies fly up here. Haven't had any butterflies laying eggs yet, but since the Red Admiral since seemed to like it here, I'm going to be adding a potted nettle pretty soon here as soon as I get back from New Jersey, um, which I'll be going on Friday. But my name is Adam. Thank you for watching Iowa Butterfly Garden. See you guys.